Partial fractions. Essential question, how do I decompose a rational expression? Partial fraction decomposition is the process of reverting the simplified rational expression to its initial polynomial fraction. So what do we mean by that? So for example, if you have 2 over x plus 3x minus 1 over 2x plus 1, then what we do is we simplify this into one denominator. So let's try doing that. So we will multiply the first term by the denominator of the second term, and the denominator is 2x plus 1. So we will multiply 2x plus 1 in the numerator of the first term, and 2x plus 1 in the denominator of the first term. Then the second term, we will multiply this by the denominator of the first term, which is x, so multiply it by x over x. Then we distribute 2 multiplied by 2x is 4x. Then 2 multiplied by 1 is positive 2. Then also in the denominator, x multiplied by 2x is 2x squared, and x multiplied by 1 is x. Plus, you distribute the x, so 3x multiplied by x is 3x squared. Negative 1 multiplied by x is negative x. Over, we multiply 2x and the x will be 2x squared, and x and the 1 will be plus x. So now we have the same denominator, so we can write them in one denominator. So we have 4x plus 2 is positive, so we don't need to change the sign, 3x squared minus x. Then we collect like terms, so we have 3x first, 3x squared, we arrange this upon the highest uh, exponent. Then we have 4x minus x will be 3x. Then we have plus 2. So this answer is the simplified rational expression. So now that's what we do before. Now here in partial fraction, what we need to do is we need to revert the simplified rational expression to initial polynomial fraction. So these two are the initial polynomial fraction. So before what we do is from here we work to make it like this and now in partial fraction from the simplified rational expression we will break them into two or three initial polynomial fraction and we really need that for calculus or else you cannot do the integration unless you break your rational expression into a simplified or initial polynomial fraction then let's uh, uh, study the rules or the steps in the composition of the partial fraction. So step one is set up the partial fraction decomposition with the unknown constant a, b, c, etc. in numerator of the dec uh, decomposition. Now, what we do is, for example, if we have x plus 2 over x minus 3, x plus 5, so we have two factors of our denominator. We will set it as a over x minus 3 plus b over x plus 5 because the original uh, polynomial or the initial polynomial fraction will be two separate fractions based from the denominator. So we're breaking them based on the denominator. Now, if the denominator is like this, so we have x minus 3, x plus 5 to the second power, so you will say a over x minus 3 plus b over x plus 5, and remember there are two. So you will just say c over x plus 5 to the second power. 
because there are two. Then, next, uh, for example, if you have x plus 2 over x minus 3, x squared plus 5. Now, the squared is in the x, so this is how you would do it. a over x minus 3. Then, the squared is the x, x not the x, uh, parentheses. So, you will say bx plus c over x squared plus 5. Now, if it is x plus 2 over x minus 3, x squared plus 5 to the second power, you will say a over x minus 3 plus b over x squared bx plus c over x squared plus 5 because the squared is the uh, x. Then the exponent, the parenthesis is also squared, so you will say uh, dx plus e over x squared plus 5 to the second power. So this is how you will do the step 1. Then step 2, it says multiply both sides of the resulting equation by the least common denominator. Now the least common denominator for this is always whatever the original exponent. So you will multiply both sides of the resulting equations. So meaning you need to multiply uh, this. So x minus 3 multiplied by x plus 5. Then you multiply this by x minus 3. x plus 5. Multiply this by x minus 3 and x plus 5. Then you're able to cancel. So here... The denominator will be cancelled, this will be cancelled, this will be cancelled. Then you will have the simplified. It will be x plus 2 is equal to a multiplied by x plus 5 uh, plus b multiplied by x minus 3. So, and you do in all of them. So, let's try one problem. So, we will work on one problem so we can do all these steps so let's try this 3x plus 2 over x minus 2 and x plus 3 okay so let's start in step 1 so we will have two denominator so, we will say a over x minus 2, our first denominator, plus b over x plus 3. Then it says steps, step 2, multiply both sides of the resulting equation by the least common denominator. And most of the time, our least common denominator is whatever the denominator of the original uh, simplified rational expression. So, we will multiply this. So we have x minus 2, x plus 3. We will multiply this by the denominator, x minus 2, x plus 3. So then this will be a over x minus 2. We will multiply also this by the denominator, x minus 2, x plus 3. Then plus b over x plus 3, we will multiply this by x minus 2, x plus 3. So then, after we multiply, it says simplify the right side of the equation. So we need to simplify the right side. I think we need to simplify also the left side. So this will be cancelled. So x minus 2 over x minus 2, x plus 3 over x plus 3. So then it will be 3x plus 2 will be a multiplied by x plus 3 plus b multiplied by x minus 2. Then number 4, write both sides of the des uh, in descending powers, equate coefficient of like powers x and equate constant terms. So meaning we need to try to solve this first. So we have 3x plus 2, you multiply this. So we have ax and multiply this plus 3a 
then you multiply distribute so we have bx multiply so minus 2b okay and it says here number four write both side descending powers equate the coefficient of like powers x and equate the constant so equate the like powers x so we have here three x and we will equate it with all the terms with x so we have ax plus bx then it says the equate constant terms so the constant here is the 2 and the 3a and the negative 2b so we have 3a minus 2b so now if you have to the second power for example if you will have uh, if you have 5x squared plus 3x minus 4, then you have ax squared plus bx plus uh, b, uh, b plus uh, cx squared plus cx. So, if it is like this, there is x to the second power, so 5x squared. Then we have ax squared, then we have cx squared. So, equate the same power, the variable with the same power. So, we have 3x and we have bx equal bx and cx. So, plus cx. Then, the constant, equate the constant by the constant negative 4 equal to b. That's how you do it. So, you need to look on the same uh, exponent. Now, if in case you have, for example, 3x minus 4 is equal to ax squared plus bx plus b plus cx squared plus cx, if this is the case, there's no exp uh, to the second power, you will say 0 is equal to ax squared plus cx squared because there's no second power. Then you will say that 3x is equal to bx plus cx and the constant negative 4 is equal to the constant that's how you do it now here let's continue this example so it says solve the resulting linear system for abc so we need to solve the uh, variables or the a b and we have only a and b so here they all have an x so what we do is divide everything by x if it is x squared divide everything by x squared so this will be equal to 1 so we have 3 this is equal to 1 so a this is equal to 1 so plus b then we will add this together so you will say 3 is equal to a plus b then we will decide which one to eliminate I think it's easier to eliminate the B because it's already a negative and a positive so we multiply this by 2 so the first equation will be the same so 3a minus 2b so 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 is 6 then 2 multiplied by a is 2a then 2 multiplied by b is plus 2b now we can solve this so 2 plus 6 is 8 then we have 3a plus 2a will be 5a then negative 2b plus 2b will be 0 so then divide by both sides we will get our a now after we get our a so we need to substitute or oh, not yet we need to solve a b c so now we need to solve for b so we will substitute our a in our first equation doesn't matter first or second equation so we will do the first equation so 3 is equal to a plus b so we have 3 is equal to 8 over 5 plus b so we substituted the 8 over 5 in place of a so now you will say uh, it's a fraction I hate fraction so if you hate fraction they get rid of the fraction so how can we do that whatever the denominator multiply everything by the denominator then there's no more fraction so this will be equal to 1 so 5 multiplied by 3 is 15 so 8 plus 5b 
Then you do uh, subtract. Subtract eight both sides. So we have negative eight minus eight. So we have this will be zero. Fifteen minus eight is seven. So we have pi b. Then divide by five. So b is seven over five. So your b is seven over five. So now you have your a as 8 over 5 and your b is 7 over 5. Now the last step is you need to substitute the values a, b, c, etc. into the equation of step 1. So this is the equation of the step 1. So we will substitute our a. Our a is 8 over 5. So you will say 8 over 5 over x minus 2. And our b is 7 over 5 over x plus 3. Now, we can take this down, the 5, so your answer will be 8 over 5 x minus 2 plus 7 over 5 x plus 3. So, this is the uh, initial polynomial fraction that we need. So, this is the simplified rational expression and we turn it to two uh, initial polynomial fractions. So these are the things that we need for calculus. And then if you get this, then you can start doing your integration for calculus.